The city of Philadelphia celebrating pride. The LGBTQ community and its allies coming out in force in Center City for a parade and festival. As they say, the first pride was a riot. That was exactly 50 years ago at Stonewall in New York. The historic riots accelerated the gay rights movement in this country. And today's pride in Philly was a party mixed with politics and a special thanks to those who paved the way. Our Dan Koob reports. We're here to welcome everyone. The Philadelphia Pride Parade whistled, floated, and gloated down Market Street in stunning fashion. Beyond words, it's, it's fantastic to see so many people come out and support us and to know there's just so much love in the community. It's, it's wonderful. Amelia Powell handed out mom hugs to those who needed or wanted one. 80% of my friends are in need of hugs because not everybody gets accepted the way they should. It's a nationwide effort to hug those who haven't yet been accepted by family. And if their parents aren't accepting them, then I'm sure as heck will, and I'm happy to go to their wedding and walk them down the aisle and anything they need. This year's Pride takes on even added significance. It's the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots that took place in Greenwich Village, New York, back in June of 1969. Their leadership started on a path, a path that said you have a right to love, who you love, being who you are, that's part of what it means to be an American. Mayor Jim Kenney attacked President Donald Trump, saying rights fought for by the LGBTQ community are in jeopardy. This crackpot in the White House and his homophobic vice president are trying to turn back the clock to the days before the 60s. Back on Market Street, Grayson Hardy turns 13 years old this week. Draped in a pride flag, he watched the procession with his father. It's been really cool just seeing so many different people because like in Marlton, I don't see that much. And now like there's so many and I, it's just been really nice to see. In Old City, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.